I just took all of the books off of my bookshelf that I have purchased over the last couple of months that are used from used bookstores and thrift stores and consignment shops and the Salvation Army. And I am realizing I have a serious problem. <laughs> So I'm gonna go make myself a cup of coffee because I think we're gonna be here for a while going through all of the books that I purchased over the last couple of months on the cheap. I do believe this owl mug is perfect for a bookish video. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jen and this is Jen's Happy Home and I have another bookish video to share with you guys. If you're new to my channel, I recently acquired an office space in my home. I took over the playroom and if you can see behind me, I have this really big bookcase. So for the past couple of months, I have really been focused on building a library. I really want to find lots of great books to fill the shelves of this bookcase and it's been such a fun hobby to take on. I have to say it is the least expensive hobby that I've ever had. <laughs> it has been so much fun going to consignment shops and thrift stores and the Salvation Army and the library to purchase old and used books. And there is something special about older books for some reason. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with this, but I prefer a used book over a new book. Is that weird? I like it when there are yellowed pages and it really has that book smell, like that library book smell. Is that disgusting? <laughs> that I actually really do like that. And sometimes there will be a little note inside of the book with a date where it was gifted to someone. And I have an old antique book that was from the 1800s and there is a note in it with a very, very old date. And I'm just, I don't know, I just think that's so cool and amazing. So let me know if you feel the same way. I guess I better get started here. I rarely drink coffee in my videos, but I am thinking we're gonna be here for a while. I just filmed another video and I feel like I'm looking very tired today. There's like bags under my eyes. So I need to perk up, I need some caffeine, and I'm gonna show you all of the books that I purchased on the cheap. Most of these books are anywhere from 25 cents to $5 at a max, and sometimes even less because our local thrift store does have certain days where you can just take a bag and fill it up with books and you give them five dollars and you keep all of the books in the bag so how amazing is that all right so without further ado let's start looking at these books Okay, I'm going to not categorize as I go through just because there's so many. I have adult books, I have children's books, I have young adult books. I really have no boundaries to my book reading. <laughs> so just bear with me as we go through. And I really wanted to tell you why I bought the book and the story behind it and all of that, but there's just way too many. So if you're interested in that, I will do um, what I'm going to be reading in the upcoming months and I'll be doing some reading wrap ups. If you guys are enjoying it, I'll continue doing it. And then you'll get to learn a little bit more about the books that I chose and why. Okay, so Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. I love the Bronte sisters. I just read Jane Eyre, really, really enjoyed it very much. So I think I am going to really enjoy this. I know the movie well. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, another classic book and I got it for 25 cents. Mole Flanders by Daniel Defoe. Rebecca, I'm so excited to read this book. This is Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. And it is one that was on my wish list. So when I found it for a quarter at our thrift shop, I was really, really happy. Another classic that I wanted to include on my shelves is The Three Musketeers by Alexandra Dumas. And I really love that this is a nice hardcover book. It has a beautiful cover and I was able to get it very inexpensively. The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. I've heard a lot of good things about this book and I think it'll be a really fun beach read. This is by Anne Brasherez. I hope I'm saying that right. And I just think it'll be a great summer read. Miss Peregrine's Home for or peculiar children. <laughs> Try to say that three times fast. <laughs> Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. This is by Ransom Riggs 
and it was a Tim Burton film. I love Tim Burton. I haven't seen this film yet, but I did listen to the Audible and I very much enjoyed the story, so much so that I would like to read it now. F. Scott Fitzgerald, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button and Other Stories. So there's a whole bunch of short stories in here. I really like F. Scott Fitzgerald. The Great Gatsby is my all-time favorite book or one of them anyway, and I have never read any of his other stories. So I thought it would be interesting to read some of his short stories and just to get to know his writing a little bit better. The Girl with the Glass Feet by Ali Shaw. I don't know very much about this book. It was at the Salvation Army. It was like 50 cents and I just thought that the cover was very pretty and the storyline sounds interesting too. So I thought I would give it a try. This is a really sweet coffee table book. It is I Love You, Ronnie, The Letters of Ronald Reagan to Nancy Reagan. And again, this is one of those old used books that has a little new inside and it says, to Clara on her 91st birthday. I just thought that was really sweet. And it's by Nancy Reagan. She collected all of the letters that Ronald Reagan sent her over the years. And I have had this on my coffee table and I've been periodically reading the letters and I just think it's really sweet. They have such a great love story. Of course, my neighbor is mowing the lawn now, so I apologize if you can hear that in the background, but I have limited time and I really want to go through all these books and put them back where I got them from on my bookshelf, so we're just gonna carry on and I apologize if you can hear it and if it's annoying. So this book actually was a book that my mother-in-law gave to me. Um, she bought it and never read it, so I figured it was relevant to share it with my used book haul. <laughs> and this is True Irish Ghost Stories, compiled by St. John D.C. Moore and B.D. Lit D and Harry L. Neeligan and D.I.R.I.C. <laughs> So I love a good ghost story, especially around Halloween time. So I think this might be a fun October read. Another kind of scary book, The Hound of the Baskervilles by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And this is a really nice book. I just love that it's hardcover. It has the original um, book sleeve on it and it's in really, really good condition. Okay, I have some children's books here because I do also enjoy reading children's books. And I have the Chronicles of Nart, the Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis, The Prince Caspian, and this is book number four from the whole Narnia series. Um, I have the first one and the fourth one, so I'm gonna kinda try to fill them in and try to get the complete series as I see them. And then I have a children's edition of A Christmas Carol. I did not realize that until I got it home. I wanted a regular edition of A Christmas Carol, but this has been brought down to a grade school level, so I'm going to share it with Madison, sorry for the reflection, <laughs> and um, hopefully I'll find another copy for myself. And another series that I'm trying to collect all of the books from is the Little House on the Prairie series, and this is by Laura Engels Wilder. This one is by The Shores of Silver Lake, and this is book number five in the series. On the Banks of Plum Creek, and this is book number four in the series. And then the Little House on the Prairie book, and is this the first book? I think this is the second book. I think the first book is Little House in the Big Woods. So I actually found a really nice edition of that at a local bookstore and I might go back and purchase that new. So you guys may know if you've been following my channel, I am reading Anne of Green Gables over the month of June and it is a wonderful and amazing book and I have an older copy of it that I'll get to eventually because it's way at the bottom over here. But because I so much enjoyed it, when I found that they had some of the series available at our Salvation Army, I picked up what they had. So this is Anne of of Ingleside, Anne's House of Dreams, and Anne of Avonlea. I'm not sure how to say that. Avonlea, Avonlea, uh, I don't know. But that's where Anne lives and that's where um, Green Gables is. So <laughs> this is book number two. So I will be able to read this one really soon. And then the other books are five, five and six. And I really do like Mary Stewart books. So I found Mary Stewart, The Hollow Hills, and this is the first in the series. So I thought if I wanted to read one of her series of books, this would be a great one to start with. You can see how incredibly old this book is. <laughs> it is, it has the yellow pages. It is well loved. Um, some of the pages are actually even falling out. That's how old it is but I don't mind it, I actually like that. Okay, so I had some of the Harry Potter books, but I wanted to complete the collection, so I ended up getting 
And these are in new condition. They're really, really nice. So I have Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. This is book number five. Book number six, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And of course, these are by J.K. Rowling. And book number seven, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. So I was really happy to complete my collection of Harry Potter books. Now I have them all, and now I have to challenge myself to finish reading them all because these books can be really intimidating. They are so thick. Let me just see how many pages this one is. 759 pages. That's a lot to take on, but I'm sure I'll love it. I really, really love J.K. Rowling and her writing. She just really brings you into the story. So I don't think it'll be hard to do, but it will be time consuming. Last summer, or it might have been the summer before, I got into the Kingdom Keepers, which is the series of books where um, these children end up after hours in the Disney parks and all of these crazy things happen. So they were selling the entire series at a local kids consignment shop and it was like $10 for the whole series and I thought that was well worth it because I do really like these books. So here is Kingdom Keepers Disney After Dark. Oh, and this is by Ridley Pearson or Ridley Pearson. And then this one is Disney at Dawn, Disney in Shadow, Power Play, and Shell Game. Of course, as I have been getting more into reading, I've been watching lots of booktubers and really taking their referrals to heart and writing down notes on the books that I thought would most interest me and definitely thinking about seasonal reading. I am the type of person who wants to read maybe creepy ghost stories in the fall and in the winter I like to read really wintry stories that revolve around Christmas and the holidays. So that being said, when I found all of these Winter Street books, I was really excited because I have heard good things about them. So I'll show you the ones that I found. This is Winter Street by Ellen Hildebrand. And to me, these sound almost like Hallmark movies, so I think I'm really going to like them. Winter Stroll, Winter Storms, Winter Solstice. And then this might even actually be a beach read. I'm not sure yet, but I heard it was great for summer vacation. And this is Winter in Paradise. So it takes place after the holidays in January, but she goes to some type of an island. So I think it's a very beachy and tropical vibe. So this might be another beach read for this summer. Another book that intrigued me was The Paris Wife. This is by Paula McLean, and it takes place in Chicago in the 1920s, and it is about F. Scott Fitzgerald and the Hemingways and their lifestyle, and it just sounded really, really intriguing to me. So I think I would like to read this along with maybe a Hemingway book and an F. Scott Fitzgerald book, like kind of read them all at the same time. I think that would be lots of fun. I have another series of books that I once actually had and I probably gave away and I don't know why I would have done that but at the time I really didn't care about book collecting or keeping books after I had already read them and now I wanted them back. <laughs> so I ended up getting The Hunger Games. This is by Suzanne Collins and I really really loved this book a lot and I will likely read it again. So I have the original The Hunger Games and then I have Mockingjay and Catching Fire. So another series of books that I was happy to be able to pick up. Another one is the Twilight series and I did purchase the first book, Twilight, by Stephanie Meyer and I decided not to buy the rest of them as of yet because I was really getting carried away with trying to get like all of the books in a series. So I figured let's just get this one for now and if I find them like really, really inexpensive, like a quarter or less, I'll just start filling them in as I see them. One second, I have to take a little break here. I hope that you guys are enjoying my book videos. I am not really well versed with talking about books. I really don't really know what I'm doing, but I know what I love to read and what I enjoy. So it's been a lot of fun collecting all of these books and having such a variety to choose from. I really feel like I have my own personal library now and I have so many books to choose from and they'll keep me busy for a really long time. Also, I will have more hauls coming up if you're interested because I did order from the book depository and that's gonna be a whole nother video. I have a lot to say about the book depository. So keep an eye out for that one. And then I will share with you guys the new books that I actually bought from a bookstore at regular price or from Amazon. So I'll be sharing that as well. Okay, so now we have a bunch of children's books that I found. Um, this is The Swiss Family Robinson and this is by Johan Weiss. Also, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. Heidi by, by Johanna Spirey. 
And then here is that copy of Anne of Green Gables that I told you about. I just think it's really sweet. I like the picture of Anne on the front. It has really pretty binding, and I just thought it was a nice hardcover addition to have. This is The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, and it is a very old copy. I think it might have once belonged to a library because it does have like this clear plastic over it. And the copyright on this is 1946. So I was really excited to find this at a local thrift store. And again, it was only about 50 cents. Maybe it was a dollar. I forget, it was really, really inexpensive though, especially for what it is, and it's in really, really good condition. From the same thrift store, I picked up The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum, and I really like this edition because there are really beautiful pictures in it. Actually, it is so new that the receipt is still inside, but the receipt is from 2002, <laughs> which is funny, but it's really, really a nice book, and I love a book that has lots of pictures. <laughs> and I also got The Tale of Despero, by Kate, Kate D. Camillo, The Witch of Blackbird Pond by Elizabeth George Spear, which I think this will be another good one to read over the fall months coming up to Halloween because it takes place during like the witch trials and I really enjoy that part of history and reading about it. And this is one of my favorite books that I found and it's Snow White. And the reason I love this book so much is because I know I had it as a child. I remember this Disney's Wonderful World of Reading series. I had all of the books. I remember I was in some kind of a book club where I would get a couple of these books a month and I had bookends and I collected them all. They were all lined up on my dresser. I don't know what happened to them. Clearly they are long gone, but this just brought back so many memories. And even like as I was looking at the photographs, it just reminded me of being a child and reading this book. Like I vividly remember all of these pictures in this book and Snow White was always one of my favorite princesses before Belle came along. So <laughs> I really, really was excited to find this book for 25 cents and it's in perfect condition. There are no tears, there are no scribbles. It is just beautiful and I found it on the floor in the Salvation Army, literally just laying there thrown about on the floor underneath the bookshelves. So this was probably my favorite find from everything that I just showed you. This was really exciting for me. Okay, that is everything. That is all of the books that I found used that I purchased for my bookshelves. I hope that you enjoyed seeing what I bought. Let me know in the comments below if there are any books that you think I should add to my collection. I am really focused on getting many of the classics and I really like books that are written in the 1800s for some reason I seem very drawn to those stories more so than more contemporary books so that is what I've been enjoying lately anyway and young adult books and children's books are always fun to read too they're a great escape I love using my imagination and being brought to magical places and it's just a great escape I think when you read those types of books and I really don't like books that are like disturbing or scary. I've said that to you guys before. So thank you again so much for watching. I hope that you're all having a great week. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it so I know to make more like it and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell notifications so that I can notify you. And yeah, I'll see you guys real soon. Take care. Bye.